All right, Shalom, Michael, Shalom. Hey, y'all, but Shimon Shai, broke a thumb to my dear brothers out there, you little man and sisters, worshiping Yahweh by Shimon Shai and spirit and in the truth. Our praises to Yahweh by Shimon Shai, by Shimon Harakakudash, and Devon said the elder apostles, the elder bishops. All right, welcome back to another GMS inspiration of the Almighty. And this one is entitled, um, Been Feeling Drained Too Much on My Mind. Haven't been feeling the spirit on my videos. And you can see that's in quotations because on the video, slowing down to catch the rhythm of your spirit, which is a video that um, the spirit put on me to do a couple weeks back. Um, there was a comment left by a brother and his his channel handle is Spirit of Yahweh Shai. Um, and the brother left a comment on my board, which immediately made me want to put this lesson together. Immediately, you know, because as he stated, been feeling drained too much on my mind. Haven't been feeling like the spirit is on my videos. We all deal with that. Every single last one of us that's worshiping Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, and spirit and in truth and trying to do the will and the works of the Heavenly Father. That's something that we deal with. And if you don't, if you ain't dealing with that, you know, if you don't deal with that quite often, obviously it's probably you ain't doing something right. All right. Because we all deal with that as men. And if you're saying that you ain't dealing with it, you, you ain't doing something right. You know what I mean? The Lord ain't dealing with you or something and the demons ain't attacking you. All right. So the brother's comment reads. Shalom and the water for this edifying lesson because I've been feeling drained and it's because of too much on my mind. Haven't been feeling the spirit on my videos, but I do them because we are required to do videos every week. I am trying to find the rhythm of my spirit because I know this is the truth. Call Halalim Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash. So you can see the lesson, I mean, um, excuse me, you can see the comment the brother left, which was a, a, a very good comment to edify on. Now, the, the lesson that the brethren put it on was um, called slowing down to catch the rhythm of the spirit. And what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to play the video apart because I went back and listened to the video a little bit. And when you get to seven seconds, um... I'm going to start there, and, I, and, and it was something that the Spirit had me say that was important. Now, the bro the brother's comment um, said he'd been feeling drained because of too much is on his mind. And, yeah, man, people think that the the, the, the real servants of the Heavenly Father is just leaving, living a peaceful and prosperous life. You know what I mean? Or we just like in a lotus position at home you know and as the spirit moves us that's what we do now nah, man you know we have regular lives you know we 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 in slavery too we have to work brethren have children brethren have all type of health problems issues mental issues we we have everything like everybody else in this world all right so it'd be a lot on our minds at times. Sometimes it, it could get to you. That's like a, a normal thing that happens to to us. You know? But it's the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the comforter, which is the scriptures. Prayer, of course, in in the 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 willing mind to want to do that which is good that keeps you fighting through uh the 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 struggles of your mind. Alright? So um, let me cut off real quick. Cut off this. Do not disturb. And then the brother said that he don't be feeling his spirit on his videos. You know, and, and a lot of times that's due to um, not being balanced. You got a situation going on. So then it ain't when you put your, like you said, he, he ain't feeling the spirit on his videos, but he's doing them anyway. When he's doing his videos, is is he got so much other stuff which we all deal with, other stuff that's just undone and 
you're not really um, balanced. So then you you just kind of forcing what you're forcing your videos, you know. And that's why you all of us have that spirit of like, damn, I didn't really feel the spirit on that one. A lot of times we got to go back and and and, and like kind of like clean up in our mind um, what's distracting us, so that when we do our videos, you do feel it, you know. Now it says, um, you know, you're trying to catch the rhythm of his spirit. And in this video, um, I try to hit all the different points um, of, of, of trying to help brethren catch the rhythm of their spirit, seeing that we are dealing with a lot on this side. So let's go to the video. I'm going to play the video from seven minutes. I'm going to play 44 seconds of the video and um, we'll go from there. You instructions? All you have to do is just focus on what's in the moment, man. It's cool if you didn't get to this, you didn't get to that. You'll get to it later as the Lord as as the Lord provide time. As we're gonna get a little later, man's goings are, are of the Lord. Sometimes you find yourself trying to go against what the Lord already had instructed for you in your sleep. According to Job 33 and 15, the Lord open up your ears and give you instructions. Sometimes you can try to go against that, not even knowing. You're not going to go above what the Lord placed on you in that day. You're not going to go under. So when you just slow down, you catch the rhythm of your spirit. You see? So, um, that's the point that I want to play in the, of that clip. And I thought when I was going back and I was listening to it, I was like, man, that, that was, uh, you know, that, that was a, that was a heavy point. And that's true. Sometimes we find ourselves fighting against what the Lord already have established for us in our day. And as the spirit had me saying, you're not going to go above what the Lord instructed you that night you're not gonna go under you know and we find ourselves trying to uh do things that the lord didn't have written in and it stresses you out and you still gotta do this you gotta do that you gotta deal with these children you gotta deal with this woman you gotta get sleep you gotta go to work you're all of it brother and you know so when you understand that when you come to grips that the lord is controlling everything it kind of make you just slow down and, and, and flow. So then the spirit, when you do your videos, it's more in the flowing of the spirit. So then you feel it. You know, you're not rushing and forcing it because you got to do this and that. You know, all the etcetras, brothers. You know, but you're flowing and you can feel it. You feel the spirit with you. And a lot of times, too, just a quick side note. When, you, when you're going through anything, man, write them down and commit it to lessons. That's what you commit to lessons, the things that you're experiencing, you know? So then you're really able to feel it because you you just personally went through it. And then you tie it with the scriptures and, and edify. So the first precept concerning that little portion of the video, which I which I believe is it'd be helpful to the rest of this lesson, is um Proverbs 16 and 9. It says, A man's heart divides of his way. But the Lord directed his steps. Now let's read that in the NOT. It says, we can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. You see? So a lot of times we be planning, we be planning. Not even knowing the Lord saying, nah, you're not going to do that. You know? We putting too much on our mind at once. We're not even dealing with the first situation and then we're adding another situation. And, and uh... We still need to clear up the first situation and, you know, it's just like, just like uh, taking what's at the moment, dealing with what's going on at the moment. You know what I mean? You find yourself trying to deal with things that's a month down the line. <laughs> and that's what's bugging you. That's what, that's you putting too much on your own plate. See, the Lord, the Lord already got it planned out and we know that the Lord ain't going to put too much on our plate that we can't handle 
So understanding that the Lord is directing these things kind of slows you down and makes you find that balance of your rhythm and your spirit. And then you're able to feel the lesson, the spirit on your lessons. Now, this scripture right here, um, I kept thinking of the scripture. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go on it. I'm going to touch on it. This is Sirach 11 and 11. It says, there is one that laboreth and taketh pains and maketh haste and is so much the more behind. Again, there was another that is slow and have need of help, wanting ability and full of poverty. Yet the eye of the Lord looketh upon him for good and set him up from his low estate. So I bring this verse up because didn't verse 11 sound like you? It sounds like us. You know, it's one that labor and take your pains and make your face and such the more behind. Man, we 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 in such a low estate. We in such a we so far behind. We make it haste. We got to do this. We got to do that. And we still behind on everything. Behind on your bills. You behind on making time for your, your woman and your children. You are behind on um, reading a little bit. Hey, you behind on. I got to get to my prayers. I'm I'm behind on doing my lessons. There's so much stuff that you behind on on this in this on this side. It's so if you and if you just sit there and just allow it to eat you up, it will. You just got to say, fuck it, man. I'm moving with whatever the Lord put on me right now to do, man. You know? And, of course, you add the discipline of what's been commanded of you. You have to do your lessons. You have to uh, study to make thyself approved. You have to um, pray. So you you balancing out what you, uh, what you got going, what's on your plate, with the discipline of what's commanded to you. You know what I mean? And you do what you can. You do it to the best of your ability. That's what it's about. The best of your ability. And you know what you can give. You know? And it says there is another that is slow. Full of poverty. Want. They need stuff. You know? That's us. It says. And, and then you see the people in the world just. Not serving the Lord and they prospering. And it's like, oh my goodness. I'm serving the Lord and I'm trying my hardest. And yet I'm still like, oh, I need this. I need that. I, you know? But it says, yet the eyes of the Lord look up upon him for good to set him up from his low estate. And that's the most important of it all. The Lord is paying attention to what you're doing for him. And that should bring joy to your heart knowing that. Like, I don't give a freak. I'm serving the Lord. That's on your mind. You know what I mean? So everything that's piling up on you and it, man, I serve y'all by Shemal Shai. It's going to be good at the end of the day as long as I keep continue to do that, which is right. And the eyes of the Lord are upon you. It says in verse 13, he lifted up his head for misery so that many that saw it marveled at him. And we're going we gonna to have the last laugh, brothers. Now, this is this is the one of the main points of why I was bringing this out. It says prosperity and adversity, life, death, poverty, riches come of the Lord. Wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the law are of the Lord. Love and the way of good works are from him. One more time. And the way of good works are from him. So it's the Lord that put the spirit on you to do good works, to do a lesson, which is a good work. So you have to, all of us, we have to pray to actually do lessons. You got to pray to be balanced, to, to have rhythm. You have to pray to, um, just to continue to want it, the, the, the spirit of the Lord to make you feel what you're saying in the videos. To, to help you, help you um, be balanced with everything you have on your mind is from the Lord. Like I said, prosperity and adversity. To prosper means to move forward in something. Everything that you want to move forward in, it comes from Yahweh Hashem El Shai. If you move forward in a thing, it's from the Lord. That includes lessons. The adversity that's on your mind is from the Lord. The Lord put that there that you got to deal with this, that, and this, and that. 
Your children getting sick. You got to go deal with that. You know? You got overtime this whole week. Mandatory. You got to go deal with that. See, you see how it's the Lord that's the one that's doing everything. So when you pray to Yahweh Shemel Shai uh, about your wants, your needs, your troubles, the Lord answers you as we're going to get. You see? So even including the ways of good works are from Yahweh Shemel Shai. You got to pray to fill your lessons. You got to pray to do your lessons. You got to pray to... Uh, be be peaceful in your mind to move forward and not so much chaos in your in your brain all right we have to pray for any and everything john first john 5 and 14 it says and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hear for us and we know that he hear for us i'm sorry and if we know that he hear for us whatsoever we ask we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. So let's read that in the NLT. It makes it a little more simpler for you. It says, and we are confident that he hear for us whenever we ask anything that pleases him. And since we know that he hear us when we make our requests, we also know that he will give us what we ask for. So there's a confidence and a faith in even praying. We have to pray to the Lord. And if you ask him something that pleases him, he's going to give it to you. And I strongly believe that um, praying to the Lord to help, help you fill your lessons and to clear your mind so you, you, you can do lessons. I think he will answer you on something like that. Because that's that's towards his ministry and his work. You know. And we know, like I said, we know he give us uh, give us what we ask for. Especially if it's something concerning um, his word. So slowing down can be the cure um, to you finding the rhythm of your spirit and finding that smooth path to continue forward and believing in Yahweh Shema and Shaman. All right? And being in these scriptures, being in the comforter, that's where it's at, you know? Remaining by the remaining by the word. Okay? So I got this last little verse here. Um to close it out, Lord willing, is 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 it just solid for you. This is Philippians 2 and 12. It says, Wherefore, my brethren, as we have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. At the end of the day, brothers, remember that you're working out your own salvation. All right? However you believe in Yom Bashamel Shai and you know you're doing it in the sincerity of your spirit and you giving your all, that's all that matters. You know? Now, brethren have different type of measures. You see brethren out there, they pushing out videos all the time. You know what I mean? And that's the spirit of the Lord that's on them. That's how they give their best. It may not be like that for you. You know? But you are doing everything in your power. And you can feel it to the core of your spirit. This is what I do. This is what I'm doing for the Lord. And this is my best of my ability. And I know. And, and, and you are feeling your spirit if it's if it's if it's if it's uh under or you're doing too much. You know, you're feeling your spirit if you're going, you're doing too less or you're doing too much. You will know if you're doing right in the middle. And that's what matters the most. And, and I strongly believe you'll be just about, you're going to be justified by the Lord. Because he knows your heart. You know, a lot of cats get caught up in um, comparing themselves to other brethren. You know. Or forcing the course of the river, as the scriptures talk about in Sirach. You can't force the course of the river. You can't force the spirit. The scriptures talk about quench not the spirit. So, um, that's working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. It says, for it is the Heavenly Father that worketh in you both to do, both to will and to do his good pleasure. 
do all things. So it's the like I said, it's the heavenly Father that worketh in us, both to will and to do His good pleasure. This is of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, which are all of us being here, from the the top leadership to the 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 the, the, uh, the youngest man. It's the Lord that's moving everything, all brethren to do whatever He wants them to do. So that's a that's a beautiful thing to understand, so that you won't bug yourself out in trying to do too much or 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 anything. You're gonna be, you're gonna just be doing your best, and you know you're doing your best to the, for the Lord, and you praying He have mercy on you. It says uh, I'm gonna jump down. Uh, no, no, let me start at 14. I'll just keep going. It says, do all things without murmurings and disputes, that you may be blameless and harmless. The sons of the heavenly father without rebuke in the midst of a crook and perverse nation amongst whom you shine as lights in the world. Holding forth the word of life that I may rejoice in the day of Yahweh Shai that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. So it's about holding on, brothers, holding on to life so that you haven't worked in vain, which you have already started. You know, it's not going to be in vain at the end of the day. But that you could continue working to your salvation. None of us, all the works that, the little videos, whatever you did to support the truth of Yah Bashamel Rashad, whatever you did, man, you don't want that to go in vain. You've already started working. You already started to invest and put, put in the works. You want to continue to see your works go to the end. So you pray to Yah Bashamel Rashad concerning your problems, your situations anything and i pray that you know the lord balance you out and keep you going in this thing if you sincerity if you full of sincerity and the truth and you're a part of this elect so yeah man through the spirit of power y'all about your mouth shy i hope i i hope i edify not to, just to that brother but anybody out there that's dealing with um um you know like this situation the brother left on 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 the board man and i thank the brother for the comment if you brother got any more comments Drop them down, and if if it's fitting to how the Lord allows me to edify, I'm I do a video on it, man. Hey, y'all, but you might shout back to the market, step shalom.